I'm going back. Don't stop me. Stay away stop from me, Jack. I don't want to hurt you. You don't. You're not supposed to come in here. I tried to stop him. Get rid of him. We're going to talk. But of course. I hope this means you're here to keep up your end of the bargain. Why should I? When P.K. Sinclair hasn't kept his. Did you like it? No. What are you trying to do, get us both killed? <sighs> really, Sean? Get us killed? And my critics accuse me of being melodramatic? Cut the crap. I have no idea what you're talking about. I said come off of it. All I had to do was page through that thing to find out that Anna was your heroine. Is she? Daphne Devane? Come on, I know an anagram when I see one. How clever. No, no. Clever of you. Was it Daphne, uh, stealing microfilm in Istanbul? Cracking safes? Charming shakes out of their secrets? Something about Daphne inspires my already fertile imagination. You didn't imagine a damn thing. Names may have changed, but you and I both know that all those events really happened. Yeah, you did always have a good memory, Sean. So does Anna. Come, come, come. What's the harm in writing about exciting adventures that took place years ago? You know exactly what the harm is. Because if she ever reads that... Well, has she? No, not so far. And she won't. What makes you so sure? Why should she read about adventures, danger, when she's already been through it all? So you do admit you've been writing about Anna, huh? I'm a writer, Sean. A sponge. I pick up bits and bits from everyone I meet. It's funny. I always thought of you as a vulture, preying on everyone. Watchers don't usually share what they eat. It took an unnecessary risk. None of my readers actually believe a woman of such charm, courage, cleverness actually exists. That's why they're so fascinated by her. <laughs> And you're the most fascinated of all, aren't you? Am I? Yes, fascinated by a woman you could never have. I could have. I chose a more lucrative alternative. One. Suggested by you, Sean. Yeah, we made a deal. But after paging through that book, obviously you've reneged on it. Well, I'm happy you find my writing so compelling and believable. After all, it's only a fantasy of a dead man. That's true. And I suggest you get back into the grave. Because if Anna and Robert ever find out what's really going on and realize that you're still alive, they'll kill you. Hey, Commissioner. I want to talk to you. You're going to give me a commendation. For what? For helping you find your uh, badge. I gotta bust you for wasting my time. What? Phone call. Casey Rogers being on the Willow Road. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, I'm warning you, you ever pull a stunt like this again, and I'll make you disappear, pal. I didn't make a call, I swear. I've been out of my boat. Ask my workman. Someone called, and they said it was you. Maybe it was that guy trying to throw you off his trail. Well, the guy sure sounded like you. What is he, a ventriloquist? What can I do, Commissioner? Keep your nose clean.
When you were the head of the WSB in them good old days in Paris, you would never have lost your famous school. Well, maybe by getting out of the WSB, I became a little more human. Uh, with all its frailties, I hope one of them isn't foolhardiness. Do you just get to the point? So quickly. You used to enjoy the game more. I'm getting very tired of playing your little games. No, I'm getting very tired of you, too. Surely you're not foolish enough to think you can undermine my purchase of the Bellington collection. I by, never said that. By sending a foolish spy like Robert Scorpio. What? Oh, yes. He was here yesterday. He said he was here to investigate. Now, listen hard. A fisherman's complaint about my dogs. Do you really believe that the, the police commissioner of Port Charles would come all the way out here just to investigate some minor complaint? Mm. What do you take me for? Of course I didn't believe him. Don't you realize that once Robert starts digging, he's not going to give up? That's right. So why don't we beat him at his own game? Meaning what? We finalize our arrangement and I was never here. All right, fine. I'll gladly sell you the Wellington collection. Good. Just as soon as you let me on your latest plot. Well, considering the little crystal necklace you gave to Saray the other night, I would say you already have a good clue. I need more than that. Well, fine. But it's only a matter of time before Anna and Robert put the pieces together. Yeah, Faison, I really don't get this. Why did you come to Port Charles in the first place? I wanted the collection. Really? You knew that Anna and Robert were here. You also knew what would happen if they saw you. It doesn't seem to bother you at all. Obviously not as much as it bothers you, but then I'm not Robert's long-life friend. Well, unlike you, I would gladly eliminate him if he got in my way. But you'd never eliminate Anna. Try me, Sean. You're still in love with her. <laughs>